So this is usually where I ask for volunteers to help me feed the Venus flytraps. Since you're not here, I guess I'll have to do it myself. I have a couple hungry looking plants here. We have some food, so these are mealworms. And you can buy these as bird food in pet stores. Because these are freeze dried, I've already pre-soaked a couple of pieces of them here um, so that these Venus flytraps don't get choked up on these. The enzymes that they produce to digest their food obviously you need water and it helps if you have a little bit of moisture in there. So let's try and see if we can get these traps to shut on these. Okay, so here we have our little plants. Do they look hungry to you? I think so. So we'll make that plant happy. And we've got our food, those mealworms. And as I said, I've got a couple of them already soaking in water here. You want to cut them up a little bit. You don't want anything larger than a third of the size of a trap. So and then in these traps, you have these trigger hairs. You've seen these in the video. So we have to touch those trigger hairs to actually get the trap to shut. So let's take a little piece of mealworm here and see if we can get this to work. Oh, yep, there it goes. <laughs> let's try another piece here. It was probably too fast for you to see. So let's try this one. And there it goes. See that? And then you want to massage the trap a little bit, kind of simulate a struggling insect so that these digestive juices will start flowing. It takes at least five triggers actually for the trap before it starts to make the enzymes to digest the insect. Now some people tell me that they're feeding like ground beef or something to the Venus fly traps and then they're disappointed that the plants die. Well, that's not the right food for it, right? The enzymes that these plants make actually are adapted to digesting insects. So they make chitinase, which will break down the exoskeleton of the insects. Of course, that doesn't do anything for ground beef. So don't do that. <laughs> if you have Venus fly traps and you want to feed them, you should use insects for that. So here we've got another plant. This one looks hungry too, right? So let's see if we can get this one to jump down on one of these guys. Yep, there. <laughs> and then it takes a couple days for these traps to digest their food. And then after about a week or so, they open up again. And all that's left in there is basically an empty husk of the insect that they were trapping.